What is up everybody, it's your boy, JoeLander43 here, and this is going to be a different kind of video. You see, I'm deciding to do a uh, nice video that I don't think anyone else has thought of. S the seven deadly sins represented by Skylanders NPCs. Now, you might think uh, wrongly about my list, but this is why I just think would be the f that fits the best um because it's really hard because the npcs don't really have um have specific c's that are really bad about them except for flynn <laughs> we'll get into him later on but anyways no more talking we're not even gonna talk anymore i just gotta talk about our first first person on the list first npc on the list callie who is rep representing Envy. Now, the only reason why, because there's not actually any really tremendous uh, characters for Envy, the reason why I picked I picked um, Callie is because she would probably be jealous that um, Flynn is into Tessa more. <laughs> Because uh, as you, in Swap Force, uh, Flynn is really interested in Tessa. And so I just think that would be much more perfect with... Uh, I just think Callie would be perfect for this zone because of Flynn being into Tessa in Swap Force. I have no nothing else. I don't know any other NPC that would work for Envy. So that's what I went with. <clears throat> now, going into the, the other... Sedley Devinson. We're gonna start with another one of called Gluttony. Gluttony is also a really hard one to pick. So I picked uh, I picked uh, Sharpfin for this one. Reason why I Sharpfin is because in Swap Force uh, he talks about eating food with uh, with uh, with Flynn. That's the only reason why, because I, again, there's, like, no NPCs that work with this one. But because he talks about eating food with Flynn, I just think he's the perfect one for this. For Gluttony. That's, that's all. If I had to pick one, if, if Flynn wasn't in use already, I would have picked Flynn. But Flynn is in use. And, you know what? Since I'm talking about Flynn so much, let's just go ahead and get into Flynn. Now, this is the third one we're talking about here. This third uh, Seven Deadly Sin is Pride. Now, the reason why I think uh, Flynn fits perfectly in the uh, Pride Sin, because he's always full of himself. He always, like, says he's the one who, uh, who did everything. He always uh, puts himself over everyone, literally. If you, like... If you play every single game that he's in, he puts himself over over someone else. There's literally no game that he doesn't do that. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's it's just an obvious obvious one right there at that point. Now, getting into uh, a, the fourth Seven Deadly Sin. We're going to go through this a bit quicker than other videos do. Getting into the fourth one, it will be Greed. Now... You might not uh, understand me when I say this one, but you also might will at the same time. I am putting Persephone. Yes, she might uh, give us upgrades for giving her money, but I'm putting Persephone in the um, in greed because you have to pay her coins for her to upgrade for her to upgrade you. Why can't she just? Uh, Upgrade you for free since you're trying to save the world. <laughs> that, that's that's why she's in greed. I don't know why she can't do that. I guess she needs money to power her uh, fairy dust or something. I don't know. But hey, uh, that's that's why I think works best. Greed for Persephone. That's really my only reason why she's in uh, greed. It only really works anyways. Now, getting into uh, lust here. Of course, there is no Skylanders characters that actually commit this uh, this uh, this sin, because it's a kids game, of course. Um, 
But I think the one that matched Lust the most is Tessa. Because I'm pretty sure she's the one that would be uh, more likely to become a um, certain kind of art that people would look at in a certain kind of uh, website everyone knows. If you're not innocent, you know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, that's my only reason why she would be in uh, Lust. That's the only reason why I, 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 I gotta say that. Now, going into Sloth. The reason, uh, this one, you you will definitely understand. I'm positive you'll understand this one. At first, I was gonna pick Eruptor from Imagineers, because he doesn't do a single thing, but I think it works better when I pick Diggs. I think Diggs deserves to be in the, uh, Sloth Sin, because of, in one of the levels, in one of the mine levels, he fakes his own, uh, he fakes being, um... What's the word? He fakes having a broken leg. So you don't... So he doesn't have to walk. Yeah. He does that. So that's why I think he deserves to be in Sloth. I hope you guys realize that. Now, we'll do an honorable mention since we're already at the end of this. Honorable mention. Gonna be in Sloth. Like I was talking about just too long ago. We're putting Eruptor in. Because in Imaginators, he is an NPC. Technically, he is an NPC. So don't fight me on that. Technically, he is an NPC. And in Imaginators, whenever you're in, like, Mushroom River or any level he's in, he does absolutely nothing. He does nothing but yap. That's all he does. So y'all understand why I put him in Sloth as well. Now... Before we get into the very last one, I just want to say thank you all for watching this far. If you did make it, make it this far, I appreciate you, and I'm happy that your uh, attention level is high. Now, <clears throat> now for the last one, Raph. Now, before you guys attack me for this one, he is technically an NPC in... Um, in uh, Superchargers. He is an NPC in Superchargers. So he is technically an NPC. Now, the one I put in Wrath is Chaos. Because even when he somewhat becomes a good guy, he tries to, uh, he, he's always mad at you and stuff. And he talks about ruling the world. And he wants to hurt you and stuff. That's why he's in Raph. He works perfectly for this one. Technically, he is an NPC, so I decided to put him in. Because he works for that one. But yeah, I gotta say, that's that's my list of the seven deadly sins that are represented by Skylanders NPCs. I hope you all like this uh like this video. I it took me a good time to figure out uh which one fits which. So I thank you all for uh, watching this video. If you did make it all the way on this uh, nine minute video, I appreciate you and I love you for staying all this way. Now, if you are not subbed, please go ahead and subscribe. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, ask for this much. I just, if you want more content like this, please sub and, um, like, subscribe, press the notification button so you never, never miss an upload. And share with your friends so you can join us in this epic adventure, as I call. And I'll see you for your three years in the next video. Bye-bye.